למקם את הסשן הקודם וכן לתת פורום מזרח התיכון, בבקשה. שמי גרג רומן, אני גר בארצות הברית, אבל אני גם אזרח ישראלי. תודה לג'יי ושירה וכל החבר'ה של הוועדה והשדולה על ההזמנה. בועז, טוב לראות אותך, עידן. ליאור, זה זמן. Let us say this in English, just so that there's an audience which is available to speak if this goes somewhere else. There's the practicalities which are associated with talking about the strategic imperative of how the United States and Israel have had a 75-year, almost 80-year relationship. But there's also the need to assess the individuals who are trying to break that relationship, both on the state and non-state actor levels, whether it's trying to get into the Jewish community to try to pry us apart on our issues of most mutual existential concern, or whether it's political bodies which are trying to tear apart the relationship between the United States and Israel, It doesn't just have to be on the political or the strategic level. There's also a lot of levels which deal with commercial, business, cultural, and academic interference. But there are practical tools that can be used at both the state level and at the non-state level to not just try to strengthen the relationship between our two countries, but also to try to fight back and take the offensive rather than just defensive stance against all the threats which pose to the relationship. If it deals with campus, There has to be a thought process of how individuals are being funded, both from the outside and from other organizations which have an interest in breaking the U.S.-Israel relationship, whether it's going after those in the undergraduate, graduate, or doctoral levels in American university and college campuses. There is an effort to try to make Israel an issue which divides rather than one which unites. And there are tools that can be used both by attorneys, by law enforcement, and others. For instance, the efforts right now by the Anti-Defamation League trying to bring a case against terror organizations, which were not so much really focused on the campus issue, but through their efforts, and I guess the ADL's here, so I don't want to take their place, but I want to applaud them for trying to go after the groups which are trying to divide. Also, as it relates to just Jewish life, there are organizations which claim to have the word Jewish in it, like Jewish Voices for Peace, or others, but they are the farthest thing. If there were four sons, when you have the Pesach Seder and you ask about the four sons, the evil, the wicked, the one who doesn't know how to ask, and the simple, there's a fifth, the one who's outside knocking on a door telling the Egyptians, look, the Jews are here. And that is the individuals that we have to look at, both in an assessment within our own community. But the largest divide that I think we have to focus on is that of the external state-level enemies which are trying to break the U.S.-Israel relationship, both through foreign influence operations in the United States and also through their own kinetic efforts here in Israel on the seven-front war that this country has been waging since October 7th. And the answer is not to create an Iron Dome which is focused on taking missiles out of the sky or trying to stop tunnels which are coming from underground or trying to have good kinetic and, and cyber warfare capabilities. The answer has to be one in which the United States and Israel, as it has had a history over the past 50 years, to have its joint offensive capabilities to try to negate these efforts. We see that right now with the presence of Special Operations Command advisors, the former head of Central Command, and the individual who helped the United States conquer ISIS and Mosul coming to advise the IDF right after October 7th. We also saw that took place with Operation Olympic Games, which was the effort, according to public sources, but no official confirmation from the U.S. or Israel, to try and delay the Iranian nuclear program by trying to sabotage their nuclear infrastructure. But the same thing has to be taken right now with the same tactics that have been used against the United States and Israel in order to encourage the proxies who our enemies worry about. And that means strengthening the opposition in Iran. That means embracing the Kurds in Iraq. That means trying to fight back against Turkish entreaties into northern Syria. It means going after the Sunni, Druze, and Maronite Christian communities in Lebanon. All those enemies who face us united do not expect Israel and the United States to embrace the proxies that they are afraid of. And the only way which to truly inflict the damage upon the enemy and show that there's a price for them trying to not just destroy the U.S.-Israel relationship, but trying to destroy Israel in the Middle East and the U.S.'s presence in the Middle East is to adopt an offensive posture using the same kind of tactics, whether it be psychological warfare, influence operations, but one in which does not leave a kinetic imprint. כשאני אומר קנטי, אני אומר שהם לא יעשו משהו שזה קשור לטילים, או שאנחנו נשלח איזושהי התקפה נגד איראן. אני רוצה להשתמש באותן טקטיקות שמשתמשים נגדנו, שנעבוד יחד ונעשה את זה להם. שיהיה מחיר לכל דבר שמנסים לעשות, להשמיד אותנו, ההשמדה שלהם, יהיה הניסוי 
להרוס את היחסים בינינו. So those are the few things I had to think to, to say, and I want to turn the uh, floor back over to uh, Idan and Ohad. Thank you. Thank you.